Hi everyone, in this video we are going to explore uh, branching in Airflow. Uh, branching is basically uh, achieved using a branch Python operator. And uh, in this little uh, example that we are going to follow, it's explained fairly well from the Airflow documentation and concepts how that works. So for example, here you have a simple direct and acyclic graph. You have this run this first task, then you have the branching task, which will kind of branch uh, among these different uh, subsequent tasks. And this uh, branching task, uh, which is defined from this uh, branch Python operator right here, will have the needed logic to kind of understand which of uh, these branches to take. So uh, let's get started and try to replicate uh, this example. I'm going to start from this uh, simple example that we had here from the previous videos. So to expand from this, this is quite simple. You have this run this task and then this run this task too. What we want to do is kind of create a new function again a new uh, actually task i'm going to call this run this task tree just to be kind of consistent uh and actually i will quickly quickly rename this with an underscore just for my peace of mind and there we go it's a little bit cleaner uh this one is still going to be a python operator it's still going to be uh but uh, uh, let's say um, a Python callable run this func, but we're going to also change this task ID so everything is uni unique. Uh, the only thing that I kind of want to do, maybe uh, run this func, it's fine. Maybe we're going to run another one just to show how this is going to change. So let's create the new function which we're going to call maybe print hello and this one we're going to call rename to print hi so just a simple simple thing uh, we're going to remove this old uh, xcom actually let's keep it so uh, we are good to go and we will kind of replicate this one but this one will kind of print hello instead of hi just just to make a simple example to show the kind of um, um, XCOM, uh, sorry, not XCOM, the branching Python operator um, logics. So this one we're going to change to print hi and this one to print hello. Perfect. So now what we need is to insert a branch Python operator right here. To do that, we're going to say branch op is equal to branch Python operator. We're going to provide a task ID. We're going to call it branch task. Then provide context reset to true. Uh, and the Python callable is going to be equal to branch func, which we are going to create in a second. And that's basically it. We don't need this last comma. We're going to create this function real quick. And we're going to make sure that this is receiving correctly the context. So how do we kind of branch? What we want to do is return the name of the task that we have to run. So uh, how do we do that? We uh, First, uh, we are going to import the branch Python operator. So we're going to do that. And as you can see on top here, we have the branch Python operator imported correctly. Uh, and the second thing we're going to do now is going to say, uh, we're going to generate a random value once again. So we're going to say if random.random .random is uh, less than 0 0.5, then we are going to return the, let's say, the, let, let's call this, instead of run this say hi task, just to make it a little bit more, uh, uh, let's say it can talk to you, the, the name of the function. And this one we're going to call it say hello task. So we're going to save and then we're going to say return say hi task uh, and then return say hello task. We're going to remove this pass and we're going to save. 
And this is pretty much it. So this with a 0.5 uh, chance uh, is going to kind of return uh, this say hi task, otherwise it's going to return this say hello task. Now all it's we need to do is kind of insert this, um, this one in the DAG as well. So we are going to do that right now. In order for us to do that, we're going to copy the branch operator uh, guy and we're going to put it here. So then we say run this task two and run this task three. So how do you read this? This is basically uh, run this task. It's still, still the first Python operator that we created. Then we have the branching operator that will kind of connect to both this run this task two, which is a say hi task, and this run this task three, which is say hello task. So let's see how that looks in Airflow. So if I go back to our graph view uh, and I kind of refresh this a little bit, you can see that this is how it looks. So you have this run this and we have a branch task which will go with in say hi task or say hello task. So I'm going to trigger the DAG a few times just to have something going. And as you can see, we have a lot of white boxes here because as we updated the, the DAG definition, these ones were not ran in the past, but they will definitely run now. And it's fairly interesting to see that you have some skipped tasks, as you can see from here. And if you go to the graph view right here and we look at this last run, this is exactly what we expected. So this branching task kind of decided in which branch to go from here to here. So it said with a 0.5 chance, I'm gonna go to say hi task and with a 0.5 chance, I'm gonna go into uh, say hello task. And it, it should be more or less a 50-50, it should be exactly a 50-50, so to say. But basically what you can see from the DAG's runs is that uh, here the say hi task was skipped and the say hello task was executed while here the say hi task was executed and the say hello task was skipped and here it's basically the same so in in this branch python operator you can of course insert more complex logics uh, that you can use to select which uh, of the two flows you want to follow uh, and how to branch from one side to the other and this is pretty much it Thanks for watching.